Hello everyone, University of the Pacific 2020 Catsley team would like to present our research on the impact of experiential and didactic education on preparing California pharmacy graduates on combating the opioid crisis. The opioid addiction and abuse is an ongoing problem in our nation with deaths quadrupling since 1999. With the opioid death rates continuing to climb, the need to identify solutions is essential. Pharmacists are on the front lines of the dispensing opioids and serve as the last line of defense pr for preventing and addressing the opioid crisis. Thus, it is imperative to analyze the effectiveness of didactic learning, introductory pharmacy practice experiences, IPIs, and advanced pharmacy practice experiences, API, in preparing individuals to combat the opioid epidemic. Our objective is to analyze the strengths and weaknesses in didactic learning and experiential pharmacy programs to gauge the readiness of 2020 California pharmacy graduates in combating the opioid crisis. This information will be used to measure the effectiveness of California pharmacy school opioid curriculum and the need for any adjustments. The primary outcome for this study is the level of preparedness of pharmacy school graduates and their ability to combat the opioid crisis. Secondary outcomes include the comparison of the relative preparedness of the graduates from three and four year programs, comparison of the ability to calculate MME, consult patients about opioids and Narcan, identify false prescriptions, navigate cures, and comparison of which activities prepared graduates the most. In this cross-sectional study, we sent out a Google Form survey via email to assess the readiness of graduates to combat the opioid crisis. The survey consisted of questions that were open-ended and questions with the Likert scale. Data was collected from 2020 pharmacy school graduates in California for one month and was analyzed with SPSS software. Statistical significance was set to 0 0.05. The majority of recent graduates were found to be somewhat prepared when asked how confident they felt in combating the opioid crisis. Comparing the different facets of pharmacy school, recent graduates felt APIs had the largest influence when compared to IPIs, didactic learning, and other pharmacy-related experiences. It was also found that IPIs was the least helpful of the experiences and had the mode reflecting the option neither unhelpful nor helpful. Of the 39 respondents that answered APIs, 17 of them reasoned it was the most impactful because of the hands-on experience. On the other hand, the most frequent reasoning for those who responded with didactic as the most impactful attributed it to the fact that didactic gave a broader general picture of the crisis. Of these predetermined pharmacy tasks that corresponds to opioid safety, most students felt prepared in counseling a patient on the side effects of opioids and not as prepared in other tasks such as calculating MME, identifying a false prescription and navigating cures. When comparing students from a three-year program to students from a four-year program, we found that there was no significant difference in how each group felt about their overall preparedness as seen graphically in figure seven. But when comparing the individual facets of pharmacy school, students in the four-year program felt that IPI was much more useful in preparing them to combat the opioid crisis versus their three-year program counterparts. Ultimately, we hope that the study will advance how pharmacists as a profession can deal with opioid crisis by evaluating their successes and failures of each component. Adding a required pain management clinic or opioid related rotation to the APLI curriculum may increase consistency in the preparedness of graduates and better prepare them in combating this crisis. Pharmacy programs can also improve their IPI curriculum by incorporating more instruction on the use of cures or implementing hands-on training. Efforts to improve this study can include following a cohort from initiation to completion in a longitudinal study or measuring more objective data for preparedness. We would like to thank our faculty advisors, Dr. Bandy, Dr. Floridia, and Dr. Ravnan for their support and assistance. Uh, we would also like to thank Dr. Manley, Dr. Norton for their guidance and mentorship. Uh, we would like to acknowledge Capslade program and Rite Aid for giving us the opportunity to participate in this program. Thank you.